Hey everyone, this is Freddie again with Superbike Unlimited and I just wanted to go ahead and give you another update on this 2019 Superbike project. The last time you saw us, of course, we had the 2018 bike with uh, a lot of the goodies that we're running on the 2019 and we were planning to go off and race with the uh, borrowed cylinder head that we got to, to get us through the weekend. Well, that thing didn't go so well. The uh, cylinder head was uh, not up to par, shall we say, and we didn't get a single fast lap in. so. That weekend was a bit of a bust, unfortunately. We did get to uh, at least do like some kind of slow pace laps and sort of feel everything out, but in terms of gathering data and setting stuff up, it was pretty much a waste of time. So anyway, on to this. We're, uh, and of course with that bike, we've got a perfectly good cylinder head that we're gonna be putting back on. It should be back pretty shortly and uh, we can button that up and it'll be back to its uh, fire breathing glory. But in the interim, of course, we're moving forward with this guy. This is a 2019 bike. So the big thing, we, I've mentioned it multiple times and around here it's been a big talking point is that UPS had lost our electronics package. Well, uh, today it showed up. So that was a huge load off of everyone's shoulders. I know everyone's tired of hearing me whine about it. And uh, for sure it's had us uh, feeling a little tense around the office. So uh, that arrived and uh, there's not really, a lot of it's kind of sitting on the bike as we're sort of mocking and routing everything because this is the first time we've installed it but uh, you can see like what's left of that stuff here this is the ecu we're using uh motec m170 is a super bike ecu actually these things actually can essentially power any vehicle including like a car race car motorcycle anything um, it's a very capable ecu and then we have a few other things like our lambda sensor just kind of hanging out over here um and you know just a few other bits and pieces most of it's already on the bike so i'll go ahead and flash a photo of all of that stuff now so you can sort of see what it looks like just all on the table and ready to be installed. Aside from that, we're sort of just setting everything up. We still have a lot of work to do. Unfortunately, since it is the first time we're putting it on, of course, there's just the routing and setting up of everything. That's gonna be a bit of time. And then additionally, once we actually get it all on, we, act, we have to tune this thing in. It's gonna have something that's good enough to actually like start the bike and, and get it to run to an extent, but it's certainly not gonna be race worthy right off the bat. So. A lot of work on the dyno to be done. And then after that, once we actually get to the racetrack, there's quite a bit of work to be done in terms of just setting up the package and getting all of the rider aids dialed, the feel of the power delivery and quite a bit of work. So it's all gonna be really fun. And uh, once we're done, this thing should really rip and just feel fantastic to ride. So we're all really excited about that. Aside from that, you know, we don't really have a lot to show. I can kind of, you can see a bit of this stuff here. There's a lot of wiring in here. Naturally, it's gonna be much more tidy when we're all done. You can see that it's kind of cool. That's a sort of like a block where some of our sensors are going to connect um, and connect to the main loom. You can see the dash here with an old dash protector. We're going to be running a new one that's much nicer looking. Um, some buttons that are just sort of temporary uh, for the time being. That stuff's all going to be replaced with some really proper ones from uh, Bike Sport Development. Um, and then aside from that, one thing I can show you is the fuel tank that we're going to be running. Here's. Of course, our new air box, which Tex did a great job of wrapping with that uh, reflective gold tape that we like to use. And then here's our new fuel tank. We're gonna be using these this year. This is actually the same fuel tank that the uh, 2018 BSB champions used on their factory Kawasaki. A really good friend of ours and super nice guy and just all around badass, Dave hooked us up with this and um, I can't wait to run this thing. I mean, it's just, it looks really proper. It's really nice, fits really well, and uh, it's got nice baffling. So the benefit of that, basically this thing can run down to something like half a cup of fuel and not have any surge, which is really beneficial, especially for a guy like me who's notorious for running out of gas on bikes. This should, uh, this should be key. And this is actually where the ECU is gonna go. So you can kind of see how it works. It's kind of cool, so. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's all we have for now. So hopefully the next one will be maybe doing some dyno pools and stuff like that. And we'll show you what this thing can actually make properly set up. And we're going to run it first with just with the standard engine. That's partially for time. And also we just want to kind of like do things in steps and see how things progress in terms of lap time and, and how it all feels. So first outing is for sure going to just be a hundred percent standard engine. We're not even going to touch it other than tuning. And, uh, and then when we get back, we'll drop it out, tear it down and, and we'll, and we'll massage it a bit. And speaking of the engine, here's a shot of that. You can see that new red valve cover for the double R motor. It's pretty cool. There you go. 
shot of the whole controls. And again, all this is gonna sort of look really different when we're finally done. The cover is completely different. There won't be a zip tie holding it in place. And uh, all of our controls here, all of our switches and stuff are gonna be much nicer. So I think that's all I've got for you now. I'll kind of give you an idea of where we're going and how things are progressing. Um, so hopefully the next video, like I say, this thing will be well on its way to doing some laps. And then maybe we'll have some onboard footage and stuff. So that'd be nice. So thanks for watching.